are very happy you could take time to be with us today. Brother, maybe know how did you first get to know Sai Baba? It was, it was in the early 70s. My mother, in fact, she, she heard of this Sai Baba and she went to the first center. It's not, at the time, it was not a center. The temple is a Krishna temple in Penang. She went there for, always went there for bhajans. So she asked me, the time I was a teenager, she asked me to tag along. I, I'm not, I was not interested. So sometimes she used to bring Vibhuti back. I was not, totally not interested at all. Mm -hmm. Then I drifted there. I do read some spiritual books that, at that time, like Ramakrishna, Maharishi, Krishna Muti and all that. So after that, I went to work in Arosta. From there, I met my good friend, this architect, Sunny Lee from Kuala Lumpur. He took me to this, this, uh, this devotee house, was bringing to Sai Baba. And mm. uh, he asked me to tag along, so I, I went with him. I saw inside the house, a lot of devotees on Swami, on Baba pictures. And uh, I, I had, during that time, my first experience of a miracle to me from the mm -hmm. beam of the ceiling beam I, I saw a flash of light and uh, this pendant falling to, uh, to my feet wow so I pick it up and uh, I look at it it was Sai Baba on one, one, one picture and the back was Jesus Christ during that time I was very quite I read a lot of Bible and everything so I was very interested in Jesus mm. Christ so I, from there, I, I realized that this Sai Baba and Jesus Christ teaching are um, more or less the same. So I was curious. I joined the Alasa Center. Their, their, their service activities, they held it in, in, the, in the weekend. So I followed them all, all around. They were very, very active. They used to go into the inner side of Kedah where people are very, very poor. Most of them are Siamese. And what they do for a living is that they cut this bamboo into strips for just, just like, that's their main income. I see. There was no electric, no water. And that. Wow. When we do seva, we do a lot of medical camps there. We, we have to bring our own water, yeah. rubber tanks. We got our own lorries and I think we travel inside the interior of Kedah. And oh. yes, they have a medical can there. I see. They do it monthly, yeah. That's right. Oh. So from there, I learned a lot. Then after after that, when uh, I got married there and my daughter was born, I came back to Penang, and uh, I went to a few centers. I went to Penang, Penang Center and mm -hmm. uh, Penang Road. Somehow, my my friend again. He, he led me to this NED center. Uh -huh. There I met the founder, the late brother Gan Yu Beng. So he asked me to join them, so I followed them. So from there, from there until now. Wow, uh, many years uh, already you have been there. Around 10, nearly 30 years. Uh, wow, <laughs> that's, years. that's good. Uh -huh. okay. So um, over the last 30 years, uh, did you ever go to India? Yes. Once when uh, it was in the year 2006, August. It was during the Ati Rutra Mahayagna. We went there for two weeks. But Swami every day he gave 10 discourses. Wow. Which I, I, I attended. And that was the first time when I saw Sai Baba in, in person. Mm. Well, I, I can't describe him. Uh. So, we, that time he, he, he that time was delivering this, his uh, discourses, and I get to see his form and hear his voice. To me, it's, that's, um, I was very satisfied. It made a big impression on you? Yes, yes, yes. I remember getting up as early as 2 a.m., going to queue. <laughs> Yeah, those days. To, just to get inside the hall for, for his... 2 a.m. Wow. Yes, for his darshan. Uh. In yeah. fact, 2 a.m. there are a lot of people Thousands there, already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So after that trip, when you came back to Malaysia, 
Okay. Could you share with us what happened? I continue on doing uh, Sai Baba work. So I was a uh, the I, I accept the post of center secretary. Mm -hmm. Was doing nineteen ninety seven. So until now, I've been doing. I've been serving as center secretary. I'm they are they are the center itself doing a lot of service activities. Uh, uh, and uh, a lot also spiritual side. There, there they have study circles, and lately, we, last time we have this STP. Mm. So a lot of this going on. Among the other activities that y'all have been doing, which one did you find um, most satisfying for you? During the early times, we we went to this open zone. Yeah. We have to, it's not feeding only, we have, we have to clean up the quarters itself. We clean the base, we get rid of these big bugs and everything. Uh -huh. So, the time was, I find it very satisfying for me. So currently, uh, what are the other activities that your center is doing? We, we are, this graduation thing, we are, we are giving to these B40 people around Penang Island. and. Uh, it's a brown fly and so Could you share with us any particular incident that happened to you over the years which stands out in your mind? Yes, there was once an incident which I didn't tell anybody so far. In fact, this is the first time I, I revealed to you. It was in my in, in the NED center. Mm -hmm. where I, I use, uh, my, one of my duties is uh, to go up to the attic to clear up these storage things. Uh. So to go up to the attic, I have to use a ladder. It's a, the attic is around 10 feet high. So there's a trap door. So I have to slide the trap door down over before getting into... It. Getting up into the attic. Yes. Then uh, inside the attic, there was a lot of these storage things. Uh. I have to, sometimes I have to bring down with myself. So I was doing one of the, one of the time. I remember it was in the afternoon, the, the, the light inside the, the attic was dim because some of the storage, they blocked the, the light. And uh, there's an opening, there's, there's a where the trap door where, where I climb up. So I was push, moving things around. So, so my, my hand supposed to rest on the, on the floor of the seat of the attic. So I placed my hand accidentally placed my hand in the trap door where, where it was nothing. Oh, into the hole? Yes, into the hole. So by the time, by right, I should have fallen down. I didn't fall down because something was holding my hand. I couldn't, I couldn't tumble down, I couldn't tumble down. Ah, so it's, it's like actually, support. I, I saw it, nothing there, but my, my hand was on it the cannot hole. go through. Uh. cannot go through, the, that's all. Wow. So, so Baba helped yes. you up. Yes, then I went down, then I, I prayed down to Swami because the hole was, uh, Swami picture was just in front of the hole. Me. So I thank him. Among the many teachings of Swami, which among the teachings appealed to you most? The one that appealed to me is uh, duty is God, work is worship. Uh huh. It's I think if I find it very suitable for me because uh, do I do a, a lot of work in you know, paperwork and everything and office work also. So what I do, I dedicate to 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 God, to the divine, and I don't expect anything in return. Uh. So this is one of what Sai Baba taught me. So I I used to practice. I in fact I'm now practicing it. Oh, so, that's wonderful. Once you have you, you, you have this what they call obstacles is burden away, where you, you don't expect any anything in return, no expectation. Mm -hmm. That means no worry. So no worry then in any work you have to do, you do it, do your best. Very happy in doing things. So even up to now I'm still working. Happy to serve. Yes. I understand you are the state secretary for Penang? I was I was was doing uh, last year uh, until last year. I see. Um, my last assignment was this uh, under the leadership of this uh, 
brother Langkawitan. So we, I was involved in the, this Sai Convention, the Nang Sai Convention, two zero one nine. So the organization of the convention. yes, yes, yes. It's good to see something without form, then getting into form, and then see all those people come in and everything. Yeah, it's it was a wonderful like, yes, convention. It's a very good experience. Uh, from there, I learned a lot. From the time before you knew Swami, and over the years until now, do you find any change or transformation in yourself? I'm a, a very impatient person. Uh -huh. But now, I'm a, quite, I have a lot of patience. I I've see. Learned, I've learned something, and I've cooled down a lot. Uh -huh. And I, I have been a vegetarian for over 20, 20 years. What made you become vegetarian? After reading Swami things, then I see the, the things. It, it makes me want to become vegetarian. Over sometimes overnight, and then uh, from there until now. Brother Lim, over the yeah. years of observing Baba, getting to know Baba, and also your experiences with Swami, what is Sai Baba to you, personally? Personally. Sai Baba to me is God. I believe he's a divine golden avatar of this age. Mm -hmm. I, everything falls, he has helped me a lot. So everything falls, I, even his philosophy, everything I've been studying, uh, Bible and uh, this Hinduism, it's just everything fits. His teaching is very simple. And, also, and it looks simple, but it's hard to practice. Mm -hmm. So, to me, he's, he's got everything. I'm not afraid, of, you know, if we, even if I go out, I know that he's there. He's always there. In fact, this whole life is revolved around him. So, brother, thank you so much for obliging us to have this interview with us. We thank you and we hope that you will continue to serve Bye-bye. Thank you. Sarah. Sarah.